Saturday the 25th of May, Pavela and Fraser's wedding day. The weather forecasters were correct when they said, it's going to be pushing it down and bothered. <laughs> the chairs were arranged, the drapes they were hung. I'm hoping there was only a faint smell of dung. There stood Fraser with his son and his brother, waiting for Pamela to arrive with her mother. Firstly, three bridesmaids, Ashley, Ailey and Skye, and the cutest wee flower girl, little Lucy Pye. Mother of the bride in a jaunty wee hat, checking the top in case the pigeons had sh <laughs> <laughs> And then there was Pamela, beautiful, happy, perhaps a little bit sad, as she made her wedding vows in a barn built by her dad. And so Pamela Barr became Mrs. Fraser Dodds, supported by family and surrounded by swords. Now that Fraser and Pamela are husband and wife, I'd like to wish them a long and happy married life. Whilst a ready-made family is really rather neat, there's some room at my kitchen table for a few more tiny feet. <laughs> Now there's not much more that I need to say except to wish everyone here a wonderful day. But there's one more thing that remains to be said. Pamela, your dad would have been chuffed that you get married in his shade. <laughs> for all the qualities that everyone sees and all the qualities that we keep to ourselves. For picking me up when I'm vulnerable or down, and for making my good qualities better, I married you for the person you are to me and absolutely nothing more. I'm so proud of you, I admire you, I love you, I look forward to spending the rest of my life with you. I fancy a wee bit of <laughs>